back everyone. Um, it's part three, three of our uh, little series here. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to be doing um, tile map, and let's just get started right away. So I'm going to create a new node called tile map. I'm going to save it, create a new folder, say tile maps, save it in here. I'm going to save it as grass, and then <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Um, we're going to create a new tile set, and then we're going to go into cell and set everything to 16 because our tile set is 16 by 16. I'm going to drag in the grass, and actually, before we do that, um, I'm going to delete it again real quick. Um, unfortunately, this tile set does not have everything that Godot wants in order to create an, a proper tile set. Um, I've edited it a little bit so that way it has most of the stuff. So I'm going to just drag it in, import it. So I've added a few things, as you can see. Um, I'll see if I can put it in the description below for you to download, or you can kind of look at it right now and make it yourself. Um, either way, I'll, I'll explain how the auto tile works. And then uh, hopefully in the future, when you have your own tiles, you can set them up yourself. Um, same thing for Hill, like you can hopefully figure out how to do that on your own. But essentially what we're going to be doing is um, creating new auto tile. So hit new auto tile. When you create a new something, it'll automatically ask for the region right away. Um, I'm going to select this and select all of it. And as you can see, the tiles are really big, which is a problem. So we're going to go into steps and turn it to 16 by 16, I believe. Yeah, 16 by 16. And then we're going to go down to the auto tile bit mask. We're going to turn that to 30, 30 by three. Um, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the subtle size to 16 by 16. And that is it. I'm going to rename it to grass. And that should be it for our setup on the side. So this is all important because otherwise this auto tile won't work. Um, but yeah, so bit mask is how we're going to actually set up the auto tile. And what this does essentially is, for example, if I cover the entire tile, it's going to check if the entire tile is being covered by two, by things around it. So if there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles around it, that means it's going to cover the inside with this, right? So the bit is being touched by another bit on the outside. So if there's bits here touching that inside, that means on all sides, right? On all four sides, that means it's going to cover this one with that, that inside, right? So this is how we're going to make this tile in the middle. Because, and this will work because in the other side, right? Um, we have nothing touching this side. So that's how that'll work. And so essentially to set up a, as a, a tile set, you kind of want to look at the tile map and it's relatively simple. Essentially anything that's like on the inside is what you want to cover with the bit mask, right? So something like this would just be one. This would be all of it, all of it here. And take that out. And you don't even have to understand where the tiles go, like art wise. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not an expert in art. I can kind of get by, but um, I'm not an expert, so, um, unfortunately I did have to make these ones. So there's a few tiles that the original one didn't have. So I had to make them to kind of make sure that it worked properly. It has most of the sides. So we're just going to cover the tile map like this. And essentially I'm covering anything that is grass and not corners. So this is what I have in the end. And this should work if I just go out, select our tile map, and now I just start drawing and it'll automatically just set it itself, right? Um, so let's erase all this because we don't want that. Um, let's go back into our tile set one real quick. I'm going to go, so don't create, whenever you go back into it to edit, do not click new auto tile. This is my mistake. I used to do this when I started. You want to just click in the middle and it'll select the current auto tile that you have. So now let's go to icon and we're going to select this guy right here. Um, and that is it. So our auto tile for grass is all set up. That was very quick. Hopefully you understand how that works. Um, the auto, so I'll try to see if I can upload this tile set. 
um, sorry, this one into maybe a GitHub repo and you can download it. Um, so you can kind of see the difference. So this is the original one and there's quite a few extra tiles. So I added these ones, these ones, these ones, these ones, et cetera. Um, but we'll delete that for now. We're going to rename this as grass. Grass, there we go. Um, close it and in my world, I'm going to go here. First thing I'm gonna do actually, I'm going to rename this to player. I'm going to add a camera 2D. So we're not gonna set up the camera 2D too much, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the zoom to make it 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I'm going to make it current, so that way it's actually following that camera. And then right above the Y sort, I'm going to add our grass right there. There we go. And now, before I hey, do anything, I'm gonna make sure that it's in zero, zero for transform. And now I can just draw. One cool thing that um, Godot has is it has this filler thing. So let's just connect it all and bam. So it's pretty good in the sense that it allows us to kind of fill in things a lot quicker. Um, there's another thing that we'll do later on to kind of make our lives easier here. Um, but for now, this is fine. Um, I'll kind of put patches here like that. Um, so it kind of looks a bit varied. Now if we launch the game, play, we have movement and we have a grass tile. Um, I'm gonna edit a few things in our camera 2D. So one thing that's kind of important is in our limit, we want to be, make sure that we can't go outside of our grass tile. So to do that, we set the limit to left zero and top zero. And then for the right and bottom, this would be on this side. So we can do, I will leave it unlimited, so that's fine. But now if I launch, I can no longer go outside this area, right? However, I can go this way. All right, um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go into my player and we're going to try to attach some of the animations now for our player. So in our run, whenever we move, um, so just to recap, um, we last video we did states. So we have a bunch of states, we have idle state, etc. cetera. Um, we have the idle state, we have the run state and state manager, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and remember in our state, we have set the animation and this animation is connected in our player. We set it to the animation player. So what we can do now is in our run, we should be able to just do animation.play um, run. Actually, let me double check what I did. Walk uh, left, walk left, that would have erred. All right, so let's run it. And now whenever I go to the left, it'll start running that animation. So now what we're going to do is just copy paste that in each one, but it's going to be the one, the way that we're walking. So walk down and then walk right. So now if I launch it, I can walk around and now I'm walking. Awesome. Um, the, un on the only thing is obviously um, it kind of keeps playing in some of them, right? We'll fix that in a later video, but for now, this is good. Um, we have a bit of simple animation. We've added a tile set. Um, and yeah, um, next video, I'm not actually 100% sure what we're going to do yet. Um, there's a lot to do in this series. Um, I want to go over time. Um, Godot has a built-in time system, which is really nice. Um, we'll learn how to use that. So we'll kind of, because we're going to be doing plants and stuff, we're going to learn how to put the plants, um, how to use real time to edit it. Um, we're going to probably do save system to do that as well. So we might actually introduce the save and loading system in one of the next two videos, um, because we're going to have to do that before the time thing, um, which will be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for that. So if you guys are, are looking to do that, subscribe, like the video, comment, share, um, all that good stuff. It really does help if you guys subscribe. Um, I think if you subscribe, I, I kind of keep an eye on that and each subscriber like helps a lot, um, especially because right now my channel is still kind of growing. Um, 
but yeah, if you guys really, if you guys like the video or if there's anything you want to see in the future, let me know in the comments below. Um, and I will try to help as much as I can. I'll see you guys next time.